the name of Jesus, Lord, your word say, who is speaking and comes to pass. We have not spoken. There is only your counsel that shall stand. We declare your counsel of our lives, oh my Father. We declare manifestation of prophecies. Manesh, Rekata. Lord, we declare your counsel of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Mande parupa robos kereres, makato si kara ba 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 ba. Lebo supre kereres, mande lebo, lebo sukata ra ba 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 ba. Re kerebo, me para ba 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 ba. Lebo supre kasa kara ba 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 ba. Yete tos ki se tete, mande lebo, me dala ba rosh ki supre kese kerere, mande lebo supre kerere, lebo sukate ka supre kete, manta ya lebo. Man de baros ke pras ke shok zorani. Lere ba kande le man de lere bos. Man kala ba soka tala ba 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 ba. Lere ba sopre ke zelere. Man de lere bos. Man kito paras kushita tandere yam de lere. Man de ba rupe rus ke lere. Man sopro ko sopre ke zelere ba 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 ba. Lobo mos ki lere lere. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Let's not pray with Colossians chapter two from twelve. Colossians chapter 2 from 12, please. From 14, 14 to 15, please. Colossians 2, 14 to 15, please. Okay. Having canceled the charge of our, our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us, he has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. And having dismay, disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them by the cross. Amen. Amen. Let's not open our mind. We don't take authority against every voice that tries to speak. Whether from our bloodline, from every cause, every witchcraft cause, from every spell, every divination. The Bible says there's no enchantment against Jacob. There's no divination against Israel. That every voice that is speaking from any altar, from any kingdom, from any throne, from any kingdom. That as we don't pray right now, that the voice of the blood be to silence them right now. The Bible says the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Ebon. That they can see it something. That's what we don't pray. That the voice of the blood. Of Jesus that speaks better things. Begin to silence every voice, every indictment, the realm of the spirit, everything that has been speaking against our breakthrough, our breaking forth. Let them command the blood. Let's command the blood. To, let command them to be silenced right now. Please, the blood. To begin to speak on our behalf. Let's open our mouth. I'm going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unfair record concerning us, O Lord. Every trace of everything the enemy has used against us, Father. As we begin to pray, my Father, we silence them by the blood of Jesus. Lord, your word says there's only your hands that shall stand. We decree and be no professor that your voice, your will of our life will prevail, O Lord. We silence every voice of condemnation. We silence every voice of guilt. We silence every voice of shame. We silence every voice of limitation. We silence them right now. We decree and declare. We declare open doors, oh my Father. We declare open doors. Your words in the door you have opened, no one shall close it. We declare doors to open unto us, oh my Father. We declare access to our breakthrough. We declare access to our promise. We declare access to our Canaan land, Lord. What you have designed and destined for us, oh Lord. We declare access. We command, no Lord, let the voice of the blood that speaks better thing, let me know, speak for us. Lord, your words that we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. We overcome every limitation. We overcome every frustration. We overcome every hardship. We overcome every delay by the blood of Jesus. Every past speaking from our bloodline. We silence them right now. Every witchcraft curse is speaking against us. We silence in the name of Jesus. Every astral protection. Every manipulation they have all this. We silence them by the blood. Every February of speaking against us, we silence them by the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood that speaks for our thing. We speak the blood that speaks liberation. We speak the blood that speaks freedom, blood. We declare freedom in every side. Malevo so kalabababa. 
said to those who were standing before him, Remove the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, Behold, I have taken your iniquity away from you, and I will clothe thee with rich apparel. And I said, Let them put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head, and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord was standing by. Amen. Amen. The mind says, Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garment and stood before the angel, and he answered and spoke unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garment from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment. Let me pray in this year 2017 that as many are connected to this ministry, as many are connected in the prayer, in, 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 in Facebook, in, in Periscope, in, in, as long as they are connected to this ministry, that are any form of garment, every filthy garment, every garment of shame, every garment of delay, every garment of affliction that the enemy has put up upon them, that as we do pray, that the corporate anointing will destroy those garments, that the fire of God will arise from the throne of God, from the altar of God, that we will burn up those garments, that God will put us in this year 2017. A new garment, a garment of glory, a garment of beauty, a garment of perfection. Let's open our mouth and we will pray. That every form of ungodly garment, every filthy garment, every garment the enemy has put in the life of anyone in this ministry. Any garment of delay. Let's open our mouth and we will command the fire of God to burn up those garments and come ask God to put a new garment this year 2017. Let's open our mouth and we will pray in the name of Jesus. Mais c'est rebos, ma chagatera, ma bonne heure. Il est 
before you hold me in your hand. Begin to do within us that what we cannot do for ourselves. For we can imagine, we can have ideas, and we can have our mind. Now, Father, we exalt you this morning. And we pray, Lord God, that you would shower your love through your word. That you would shower your grace through your word. We officially open the space. We open the space. We open the day. For this is the dawn of a new day. We're walking into a new dimension. And the Lord says, I will reward each of you. I will reward you for your faithfulness. I will reward you for your consistency. And I'll begin to do things that you think can't be done. And the Lord says, I will shower you with the grace that is needed for the favor. I hear the Lord saying, this is not the time to look back. This is the time to look forward. And as you begin to look forward to your future, Look forward to your new destiny. Look forward for what shall rest in your life. I'm, I'm going to do a quick work, I hear the Lord say. Get in position. Get in position. Get in position. Because I'm going to do a quick work. And the responsibility that you have, move quickly. Don't hesitate. Don't think. Because I'll show up when you don't think I'm there.
that I'm going to turn it around. What you're looking at is not what you're seeing. And I'll begin to show you something that is so deep and so powerful. There's a move, a relocation. I see a relocation. I see another house. I see another house. I see another house. I see another house. You're going to be working in. You're going to be working out of. God said, I'm trying to expand you. He said, remember not the former thing. Neither consider the things of old. Because what I did in the past won't be the future. For your future is held by me, said God. And I will show you that which you have never experienced. I hear God say, stand still. Because I want to give you an anointing for wealth. I want to make you responsible for millions. I want to bring millions into your hand. I want you to be responsible for millions. I want you to be responsible for millions. I want you to be responsible for millions. You shall handle money. You shall handle money. I hear God say, stand still. Because what I'm about to do, if you shift your consciousness this year, you're going to shift your wealth. I hear God say that money is your security. And I hear God say, I'll make you wealthy. That when people see you, they are bound to you. That people will respect you for the way you're going to walk in your wealth. Uh, say, well, it's coming to me now. Say, well, say, Lord. The wealth that you have for me, I'm willing to store it. I hear God saying there's a temptation coming. A temptation. And I hear God say it's a trick. It's a lie. And God said, don't fall into the trap. Because you're destined. I hear God say somebody's going to offer you something. It's going to be unusual. And it's going to trouble you. And you're going to begin to think about it. And it's going to disturb you. And God said, follow me and not the disturbance. Follow me and not the disturbance. He said, I'm not in the earthquake. I'm not in the thunder. I'm not in the lightning. But I'm in the steel small voice and you will hear my voice in the midst of the noise. He said, watch the water. He said, watch the water. 
He said, things are going to begin to happen. Things are going to begin to happen. He said, watch the water. Watch the water. Because things are going to happen. 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 Glory to your name. Come up here to the floor. Stand by them. Stand by the put the man on. Put the man on. Cover his head. Cover part of his head. Thank you. Cover part of his head. Cover part of his head. Cover part of his head. Cover part and I hear the Lord say, I prophesied to your wife the last time she was here. She was at this altar standing right here. And I told her that nothing shall be wrong with the baby. And I stand by what God told me. Nothing shall be wrong with your son. Nothing shall be wrong with your son. And I hear God saying, You're coming into a season of training. Training for leadership. And I hear God saying, Look at me. Not just to be humble and to bow to all of the great men that are around you. But for them to honor you as you have honored them. And I will bring you consciously into a new thought. I'll bring you into a new idea. I'll bring you into a new imagination. And things will shift for you. I hear God say, the fear that you have had, the fear of not being successful, the fear of not walking in the grace that you want to walk in, the fear of not being able to do what you want to do, the fear of being afraid, God said, I'm going to release you from it. God said, I'm going to bring you into a place that you have never known. And I hear God saying, your wife will not live in fear the next several months. That child, I command the earth to leave the child alone. I command the earth to leave your wife alone. And every thought that she had, I counsel I counsel I don't care what the doctors say. The doctor can predict what God can heal and deliver. Ah! God! I said, God, drop a man, drop a refreshing on you today. Name of Jesus. Now, to floor, succeed. To floor, prosper. To floor, walk in the power. To floor, hear the Holy Ghost. To floor, prosper. To floor, somebody say to floor, prosper. To floor, prosper. Say it again. Put your hand to it. Say to floor, prosper. Freshness. Freshness. The water will bring the freshness. I hear God say. I hear God say. That water on your feet. I am cleaning the dirt and the dust of people that have held your feet, even your ancestors that have been locked to the ground where you have been stepping in places where your ancestors have been. Today, your ancestors will not chase you in the name of Jesus. The spirit of your ancestors will not trace you. I start a new bloodline with you. Your daughter is a new bloodline. Your daughter is a new grace. 
Your wife is a new grace, said the Lord. Now walk it. Hear the Lord say, live to floor. Live to floor. Live to floor. Give my Bible a poor shout out. Live, live. Somebody say, live to floor. Live to floor. Say, live to floor. Live to four. Live to four. Live. Say live. 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 I said you're going to live. I, I said you're going to live. Get the oil. Let everybody anoint themselves. Wait, wait. Just worship right there. Everybody get their finger in my oil. Anoint yourself. Because God said there's a refreshing, there's a refreshing coming. There's a refreshing coming. I hear God saying this is for the house. We need a man. I hear God saying. I hear God saying I'm going to bring you into a new refreshing. I'm going to bring you into a new reality. I'm going to bring you into a new space. This shall not be the time for you to be afraid. I rebuke the spirit of fear off your life. In the name of Jesus. Where you have feared, where you have not believed God, where you have not trusted God. God said fear is leaving you today. Fear is leaving you today. Fear is leaving you. Eddie, come here. Take this mantle and put it on. Turn around. Face your back. Put your back to me. And I hear God saying, I'm going to put a new grace upon you. Face me. Stand here. I hear God say, I'm going to put a new grace on you. He said, for years you walked as if you weren't sure of where you were going. And I hear God saying, no longer Will you be fearful? No longer shall you be fearful. But I hear God saying, there's another course you're going to take. That's you're going to have to do another two years of study. What are you supposed to graduate? Uh huh. Two nineteen. That's two years. Oh, I didn't. Somebody say amen. 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 God said. I, 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 you never told me that, am I right? Okay. So you know that's God, right? In other words, God wants you to be comfortable. He want, in other words, where you are and what you're doing right now. I, I, I'm looking at, is there any business majors that you're taking? Okay. Because that's what these other two years is going to be about. I also hear God say, take something concerning money. I'm looking at money. God gonna put money in your hands. God gonna put money in you. God gonna put money in your hands. Say God gonna put money in His hands. God's gonna put money. Say God. God is gonna put money. gonna put money in His hands. In His hands. Say God. God. I said. I listen to me. What I'm saying. Say God. God. God gonna put money in His hands. God's gonna put money. God gonna put money in His hand. Not man. Yes. But God gonna put money in your hand. Yes, Lord. And I hear God saying. Even what you have faced, even what you have faced in terms of challenges. And I hear God saying, he said, release this. It's like you handle challenges well. You handle responsibility. I hear God say, you even handle disappointment well. And I hear God say, I'm going to reverse the disappointment and I'm going to reverse the decision. I'm going to reverse Lift your hands. Lift your hands. God said, I'm going to reverse the decision. I'm going to reverse the decision. God said, there's a freshness that's going to come on your mind. There's a freshness that, but say the water. It's going to be a freshness on your mind. You're going to think different. You're going to see different. You're going to be clear. You're going to be shocked when others are dull of hearing is dull. Of understanding. Hand me the mask. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Come here, daughter. 
You know who that is. You know who that is. I saw her this morning when I went to the, the store. But I want to, God want to speak a blessing on you. Face me. Come here. I want to speak a blessing on you. God said, lift your hands for your sons. God is going to begin to do something with your sons. I hear the Lord say that there are times that you feel you don't have control. And there are times that you feel you don't know what's going to happen or how, what the future looks like. And I hear God saying, I'm going to bring balance. You're going to hear what I'm about to say. God said it ain't over. God said the relationship ain't over. I hear God say, I don't care. Oh, man. Can I say, 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 prophet, step out. Come on, somebody say, prophet, step out. Prophet, step out. Because I'm about to say something here. Say, walk on water, prophet. Come on, say, walk on water, prophet. Come on here. Let me show you what God just showed me. When God walked on water, he was walking on his imagination. He was walking on his imagination because he had to create it in order for him to walk on it. So you had to create those boys in order for you to have dominion over them. And God said, I'm not going to let your sacrifice be lost. And I hear God say, the pain of the past is not the pain of the future. And I hear God say, it ain't over with Jackson. I hear God say, I don't care what it look like. I don't care what you're going through. I hear God saying it ain't over. I heard that 30 seconds ago. Hallelujah. God said it's up to you. And I hear God say I'm going to bring the passion back. I'm going to bring the love back. I'm going to bring the joy. And I hear God say that the hurt season is over. Hallelujah. The hurt season yeah. is over. I hear God say the divorce is over. I hear him say it's over. The, uh, the negativity and everything that's been happening. I hear God saying it's over. I hear God say, I'm going to use you. And I'm going to cause you to see life in a different dimension. And I hear God saying, I'm going to give you a fresh start. I hear God say, say fresh start, somebody. Fresh start. Say fresh start. Fresh start. God say, I'm going to give you a fresh start. God said, I'm going to give you a fresh start. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you a fresh start. You're going to see the freshness of your life. Hallelujah. You're going to see it. You're going to see the freshness. Hallelujah. I hear God say, you're going to walk different. Hallelujah. You're going to walk different. Faith is going to be different. I hear God say, where you have weep in the night, you will laugh in the morning. Hallelujah. Where you have weep in the night, you're going to laugh in the morning. Hallelujah. I want you to repeat after me. Repeat after me. Stand 
here. Wait a minute. I want you to stand in the center right there. Teresa, Linda, take this man. And I want you to back up over her. And I hear God saying, lay queenship upon her. Lay the man on her. Lay the man on her. Wrap her in the man. Wrap her in the man. Hold it now. Hold it for her. I hear God saying, hold it for her. That what you've been afraid of, what you've been asking God for, that I'm going to release it in a way that you've never known before. I'm going to release it in a way no, no, that you've never known before. And I hear God say, the very fear that you've had. A week ago, it was either a week or two weeks ago, you were standing right here. And I told you there'd be no problems with that baby. I spoke it before you even said it to prophets. And I'm here to remind you by the Holy Ghost. Is it a boy? Let me prophesy more. Because this is going to be a new bloodline. Let me prophesy a boy. Let me create a boy. Let me create a boy. This is a prophetic house. And if God can create water, I can create a boy. If God can create the moon, I can. if I'm in his image, I can create a boy. He's gonna be taller than the both of them. <laughs> you're gonna say, y'all gonna say, where did this boy get his height? And you're gonna look back into your DNA. And you're gonna find that you had ancestors of great renown. And I hear God saying that somehow there was a manipulation in the spirit. And the spirit reversed the quality of life that you were supposed to have. But I hear God saying, today I am shifting. I am shifting your quality of life. You shall not go down like your ancestors, but you shall be the queen. And when people see you, they shall respect you. And that's the word of all. Amen. Hand me that man. Lord, I'm amazed by you. Lord, I'm amazed by you. divine nature. Come here. Then you come with a Come. Hey! You ain't no yet I heard God tell me to tell you that I'm going to speak a blessing over your life. I hear God said, what's happening now won't happen in the future. And what happened in the future is not going to be because of now. And I hear God say that I'm going to shift what you thought you was going to be and where you thought you was going to go. Am I on target? Because I see you going out of town. And it's like you literally want to get out of Dallas. And as you're saying to yourself, you know, I'm tired of these people and, and, and and all of the crap that I've been going through and all the crap that I've been facing. But I hear God say, I'm going to bring clarity. Don't worry about it. God said, I'm going to cause a fresh wind. I'm going to cause a fresh wind. And this is going to be a wind. It's going to be a fragrance. I hear God say, I'm going to cause it to come from every side of life. A freshness. A freshness. I hear God say, you're going to smell it. It's going to be like a fragrance. It's like when you go places, you're going to begin to smell things. God say, I'm going to open your senses. 
you're going to be sensitive to what God is doing in this season. And God is going to allow you. I hear God say, cover her. God's going to cover you. Just stay in God's going to cover you. God said, I'm going to cover you from the destruction and from the trouble and from people. I'm going to protect you from people. I'm going to cover you. And God said, I'm going to cover your daughter. God said, she shall not be taken from your life. But you shall enjoy her. Say this after me. What you Would you say this after me? Say it. Nobody loves me. Like my king loves me. Like Jesus loves me. Nobody loves me. Nobody loves you like Jesus. Nobody cares about you like Jesus. understand this is something that I begin to study and when I begin to study it first of all I'm going to go to Exodus chapter 16 and when I begin to study this particular thing I begin to realize 
that there is a place that we can walk that we haven't walked before. Glory to your name, Father. There's a place that we can walk where we haven't walked before. Go to Exodus, everybody. Go to Exodus. Now, I'm putting this on the board. Exodus chapter 15, <coughs> chapter 16, verse 15. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said, one to another, it is manna. For what is it? Moses said unto them, this is the bread which the Lord had given you to eat. In other words, when you, be when you begin to operate in imagination, Ideas don't exist. When you begin to walk, operate in the imagination of God, your thought don't exist. When you begin to walk in the imagination of what God wants to do, your consciousness don't exist. In other words, God is living in imagination while you're just living in consciousness. Consciousness is the present thought of where you are. Consciousness is only an enlightenment of what is illuminated by your eyes and by your ears and by your senses. But when you begin to walk in imagination, now you have to begin to visualize what you had never seen. Nobody had never seen that. Manna. manna didn't exist. But God saw it in his imagination, not in his thought. Because when it came, manna means, what is it? What is God about to do? Where is God about to take you? Because what God wants to do is take us beyond where we are in consciousness, in thought. You're living in a wrong dimension. You got to stop living in now. Live in the moment. See, the Bible said, now faith. But he was saying, now faith, not the faith of man, but the faith of God, the idea of God. God lived in imagination. That's why he could create water and then walk on it. Yeah. He walked on the water that he created. So I am releasing this into your spirit because you have to begin to create. You have to begin to get out of consciousness. You have to begin to get out of the idea. You have to begin. I told Providence, I said, don't put your consciousness in my imagination. You can't let people lock you into your imagination. Do you hear what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. I want you to go to the book. The book of uh, I'm gonna make sure we call these people and invite them back. Go to the book of Mark. I'm gonna show you something. Mark chapter 11. And uh, Mark chapter 11. I'm gonna put it up on the board. And I want you to see this about imagination. Somebody say imagination. imagination. Say, God, God. Open, my open my imagination. Say, open my imagination. Open See, I want you to live in imagination. I want to raise you up to live in your imagination and not in your consciousness. Because to live in consciousness is to live in somebody else's idea. If you begin to live in somebody else's idea, that means you begin to produce their thoughts. That makes you know better than them and it puts you on the same level. God wants you to get off of the level of people and get on the level of imagination. And so in order to get on the level of imagination, you're going to have to begin to think like God, act like God, move like God, receive like God, see like God, hear like God, talk like God, walk like God, dress like God. 
let me give you this. In order to walk in imagination, you got to have preparation. Look at Mark chapter 11 and verse number 12. I want you to look at this. And on tomorrow, when they were come from Bethlehem, Jesus no. was hungry. It's on the board. Verse 13. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came, happened that it might have anything on it, some figs on it. But when he came to the fig tree, he found nothing on the li but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said, who was he talking to? It says, Jesus answered, who was he talking to? He was talking to the fig tree. Say, imagination. Imagination. And so the disciples turned around and said, who was he talking to? If he wasn't talking to the disciples, he had to be talking to the fig tree because he had created the tree so at the time that he appeared, fruit had to be on it. Some of you ain't carrying no fruit. Jesus, yes. God has appeared in your life. And you ain't got no fruit. Now the judgment of God will be on you because you don't have no fruit. And so what happens here, watch what happened. <coughs> Say imagination. imagination. And Jesus answered and said unto it. Let's talk to the future. Show you a powerful scripture in the book of Colossians. Go to the book of Colossians. Stay in Mark. Go to the book of Colossians. Colossi, Colossians. I want you to hear this by the Spirit. Look at the book of Colossians. It says in Colossians chapter 1. I want you to go to verse 1 and listen to this. Listen to what it says. Verse 15. Who is the image of of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. It said that Jesus is the image of the invisible God and that he is the firstborn of every creature. Now watch this. Lift it up just a little bit. There you go. That's for you too. Now watch it. Verse 16. For by him, say by him. By him. Were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible and invisible. It says that all things were created by Jesus. So therefore when Jesus came to the fig tree. It had to have what he needed. Because it says that all things were created by him. Now watch this. Visible. He said whether this thing is in heaven. Verse 16. All things were created. That are in heaven. The heavens, the stars, the planets. Hell is a dimension. It's a type of heaven. You're not here this morning. Because the Bible, listen to what the Bible says in Ephesians. That we are set together with him where? In heavenly places. So if we're set together with him in heavenly places, that means that when the spirit of God is present, you're not in earth anymore. Say the imagination of God. Imagination. And this is where Christians, this is where church folk, and this is where religious folk, you say, I'm a prophetic person. Say it, I'm a prophetic person. I'm, prophet. I'm an apostolic person. If you fill with the Holy Ghost, you are prophetic. If you fill with the Holy Ghost and confess Jesus as Lord and Savior, and Jesus was an apostle, he was the Son of God. You're apostolic. That means that the movement of the spirit. A sent one. So you're prophetic because the Holy Ghost shows you what? Things to come. You're apostolic because the name of Jesus gives you the authority in the earth. Now watch this. He said, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible or invisible. So now, whatever is invisible, because you can't see it, don't mean God can't see it. Because you cannot see it, because you cannot hear it, because you cannot smell it, don't mean it don't exist. So you got to get out of the natural realm. You got to get out of the natural. Say, I got to get out of the natural. Say, I got to get out of the natural. Say, I got to get out of the natural. Say, I got to get out of the natural. 
got to get out of the natural. You can't live in the natural realm. This is what binds, binds you. Flesh binds you. Your thought binds you. This is why you got to get into creativity. You know what I found out? I began to look at my life and when I went back to the 90s, I was traveling to Palm Beach with Harold Calvin Ray. I was, I was going into New York. I had all these apostles. I was driving back and forth and there was a different anointing. You know why my anointing was different? Because I was associated with people of greatness. You understand me? So now, how we have connected to certain people around the country, I'm going to get back into that. I would get in my car and drive. Prophet, wake up. Say, where you at? I say, I'm in Louisiana. Prophet, wake up. I'm in, I'm in California. I'd be at the airport. She's like, where is he? I'd be in California. She'd wake up the next morning. I done got up at 2 o'clock in the morning at the airport. I'm gone. <laughs> where is he at? Because you cannot operate in another person's thought. And here's what I want each of you to understand. Stop operating under the control of other people. When you operate under the control of other people, you stoop to their level. Now you're on their level because you have allowed their consciousness to enter your thought. Watch this. Your idea and shift your imagination. When you came to America, you had imagined a dream. But now that you're in America, you let other people that have been in America shift your imagination for what you dreamed America would be for you. And so when God three weeks ago began to deal with me about imagination and creation, I don't live in my mama thoughts. I don't live in my brother thoughts. I don't live in my wife's fault. She's the prophetess, yes, but I'm the apostle first. Apostles. Then prophets. And let me show you how God broke that down to me. First, the apostolic. Then the prophetic. So God shift the order of things. So if you, start, if you continue to live in the imagination, to live in the thought, to live in the idea, to live in the consciousness of other people, you will forever be bound to religion. Because religion binds you. And if you're gonna be free from religion, you got to be free from their thoughts. Say, Lord, let me be free. So you have to learn the imagination takes preparation. The imagination takes meditation. The imagination takes motivation. The imagination takes organization of thought, organization of dreams, organizations of consciousness. The imagination takes the elimination. Meaning that you got to eliminate anything in your consciousness that wars against the imagination of God. Here it is. God creating water. And here comes Lucifer. Oh, you can't do that, God. So now Lucifer gets into the thought of God. The main reason that Lucifer fell the main reason that Satan hit the earth was because he could not see where God was going. And so because he could not see where God was going, he fell. Now watch this. The greatest poverty in the earth. Say the greatest poverty in the earth. It's in Genesis 1 and verse number 2. Look at the board. He said, and in, and the earth was without form. Void and darkness was upon the face of the people. That means that it was empty. There was nothing there. It was the greatest poverty in the earth. And so God didn't create wealth. 
by his thought. God didn't create wealth by his consciousness. God created thought by his imagination. He said, I'm going to take this part and I'm going to bless it. I'm going to shift it. I'm going to change it. Say, Lord, speak to that speak to God. which has no form. Which has no form. Say, Lord, Lord. speak to that. Speak to that. Which is void. Which is void. Say, Lord, Lord, speak to that. Speak to that. That is surrounded by darkness. That is that is surrounded surrounded by darkness. darkness. And so what God had to do was use his imagination to create wealth. In order for him to use his imagination to create wealth, he had to step outside of what he had created <laughs> to see what he had created. Step back into himself to create something else. <laughs> and so Lucifer is the author of poverty. Lucifer is the author of confusion. So Father, in the name of Jesus, by the will of God, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. We lose your imagination today. God, pass these out for me. And give everybody one. Serve the prophetess first. Always serve the prophetess first. I'm gonna, I want to take you through this. I want you to have this. And I want you to use it. Now listen to me. Those of you on Facebook, you're not here. Now, those of you on Facebook, glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name. One of them has stopped. Now, listen to me. I want you to go to where, to, to where that line is in the middle of page 166. And I want you to hear this because we're closing right now. We're closing. Because I want to deal with your imagination. Great men do great things because they think outside of who they are. And they think inside of who God is. Uh, uh, uh. Right there. In the middle of page 166, in between the lines, it says, impress your subconscious mind with the good you desire. Get full of the feeling of having new, exciting, wonderful experiences. So a lot of times what happens to us as a man, what? Think. So what? So is he. So a lot of times what happens to you, you let your five senses dictate your life. So listen to what it says. Read, Teresa, the next paragraph. Read. Once you have accepted an ideal in your mind, everything necessary for the fulfillment of that ideal begins to happen. Once you begin to accept that idea, I don't care if you accept failure, if you begin to think that you're a failure, if you begin to think that you can't do nothing, that idea exists. Because you begin to imagine that idea and whatever you give attention, you give it power. And because you gave failure attention, you give failure power over your life. That's, I come here every day. I'm here every day. Six, seven hours. Running back and forth to the restaurant here, having conversations, meeting people. Because you cannot fall into the idea of failure. And when I come in here, I see vision. And I see the next level I want to go to. I see the next building I want to be in. I see the next thousand people I want to have seen for. I see the dreams of the bookstore. I see Eddie duplicating himself. I see Tafor duplicating himself. I see Teresa and Linda, everybody duplicating themselves. It's the imagination you have to live in. If you don't believe me, ask Donald Trump. Mm, yeah. If 
you don't believe that you can live in your imagination, here, Donald Trump said, I'm not releasing my taxes. I don't care what 50 people did before me, I'm not going to do it. And he didn't release his taxes and he still won the presidency. You got to believe in you. You got to believe that what you are saying and what you are do doing has power. You better get around the right people. But if you stay isolated to yourself, and you don't begin to create, nothing's going to show up in your life because you have buried the talent. You gave one, one talent, one, two talent, one, five talent. You know what your greatest talent is? Your mind. He gave your mind. He gave your consciousness. And he gave you a thought. And when you bury your mind, when you bury your consciousness, when you bury your ideas, you bury God. Wow. Wow. Don't ever let nobody tell you what you can do. They told the slave they'll never be free. They told Israel to make brick mortar out of straw. Pharaoh told them that they are never be. And God created a desert through an imagination. What are you creating? You must begin to walk in creation. Once you get that idea, take on the feeling of it. Read. Your visualization, your belief, will go before you and lead you to all the ways and means of manifest, manifesting a first classification for yourself. So in other, in other words, you have to see us. You know why there are so many third world nations in America? Portugal, Italy, Spain. Greece, Turkey. You know why? Because they see something in their imagination that you don't see. And they come to this country and become wealthier than you because of an idea. But then that idea becomes an imagination. <laughs> I want you to rise to your feet, everyone. Rise to your feet. Raise your hands. Lift your hands. Free your mind. I want you to say, I shall walk, I I shall walk, walk as God. As God. As God. In my imagination. I shall walk, I shall walk as God as God in my imagination. I shall not be bound. I shall not be bound by thought. By thought. Anymore. I shall not be bound. I shall not be bound by people. By people. Anymore. Anymore. I shall not be bound. I shall not be bound by condition. By condition. Anymore. 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 Today. Today. I lose myself. I lose myself from what have held me captive. For the sun. For the sun. Have come. To set the captives. To set the captives free. I'm living. I'm living. In imagination. In imagination. You gotta live. In Jesus' name. Amen. Keep your hands up, just worship. I want you to take on the feel of imagination.
when you take on that feeling. When you begin to realize that there are certain things that you can manifest through what you feel. For we have not a high priest that cannot be touched by the feeling of our infirmity. If God can touch us, touch our infirmity by our feelings, God, you can touch God, creation, through how you feel. And so you have to shift your feelings. But if you live in your feelings, if you live in your idea, if you live in your thought, you bind yourself to this world. I ain't going to be bound to this world. You better be like the Indians. They said, listen, it's nothing I can't do. It's nothing that I can't conquer. And the only reason that the Indians were defeated because somebody else came with a bigger imagination. And while the Indians was using boring arrows, imagination keep created repeating rifles. And so the person that lived in imagination will live free. Will live unrestricted. And so it's a process. That's why, that's why we're doing the conference. That's why we're doing the conference. Because it says, look at the theme. Imagination. Mentoring conference. I don't need nobody to preach for me. All I need to do is yield my mind to God's imagination. We gotta do something different. We gotta go somewhere. Say, I love the king, and the king loves me. I love the king, and the king loves me. Now, Father, we release the anointing, the anointing of imagination, the anointing of creation. Let that anointing operate. Let that anointing flow. I command that your mind be open. I command that your ideas be open. Create money for them. Create money for them. Lift your hands. Clap your hands. Put your hands over your head. Say money coming. Come on, say money coming. Money. Come on, begin to put your hands. Say money is coming to me. Say amen. Tell God, God, I'm tired of being broke. Tell God, I'm tired of being broke. I'm, I'm tired of being without. I'm tired of being in lack. I'm tired of people telling me what I can't have. God, I, you're my credit. Say, God, you're my credit. You're my credit. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the will of God, we have released the word. We release the anointing. Now impart into their lives what they lack. In the name of Jesus. 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 Now, Father, we release new consciousness this morning. In the name of Jesus, we release new wealth. We release new consciousness this morning. We release new wealth. We release new consciousness this morning. We release new wealth. We release new consciousness this morning. We release new wealth. We release new consciousness this morning. We release new wealth. We release new consciousness this morning. We release new wealth. 
We release new consciousness this morning. We release new wealth. We release new consciousness this morning. We release new wealth. We release new consciousness this morning. We release new wealth. We release new consciousness this morning. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Those of you that are online, we speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, we speak over your life. We speak over your life. We pray that there will be a new consciousness, that there will be a new dimension, that there will be a new glory, that there will be a new insight. That things will begin to come to you that you've never had before. We speak to Facebook. We speak to Periscope. We speak to YouTube. And we decree and declare a change. We decree and declare a change. We decree and declare the change that is necessary. The idea, we speak it over your life. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, let there be a fresh wind. Let there be a fresh wind that blow. Let there be a fresh wind that blow. Let there be a fresh wind that blow on you. Let there be a fresh wind. Let there be a fresh wind that blow upon you. Let there be a fresh fragrance that come upon your life. Let there be a fresh wind. Let there be a fresh wind. Let there be fresh grace in the name of Jesus. Fresh grace upon your life. Fresh grace upon your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Your word. Those of you I want you that can, I want you to plant a 217 seed today. Those of you who want you to get your Periscope, want you to get your Facebook, want you to get your tithes and offering. We are getting ready to release ourselves. We're taking our tithes and offerings, Father, as we prepare our tithes and offerings this morning. As we prepare the $217 seed. As we prepare the $2017 seed. During the conference, there are those of you that I know will plant a $2,017 seed, but that's going to be a challenge. And God said, I'm going to release you from the challenge that you think it will be. And I hear God say, watch what comes into your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your right hand. Lift your right hand. I prophesy over your right hand that you will write checks that you have no idea of. I prophesy now that your bills will be paid. I prophesy now that every car note, every house note, every bill you have will be paid. I prophesy, I prophesy to your hands, Linda, I prophesy to your hands, I prophesy to your hands. I prophesy, I prophesy to your hands. I prophesy to your hands. I prophesy, I prophesy to your hands. I prophesy to your hands. I prophesy to your hands. Look at your hands and say, Money! Be released to me! Be released to me! Now! I prophesy to your hands. The checks will come to your hands. You shall write checks, you shall receive checks. You shall write checks, you shall receive checks. You shall write checks, thousands of dollars shall come to you. Thousands of dollars shall come to you. Thousands of dollars shall come to you. I prophesy to you, Periscope. I prophesy to you, Facebook. Prophesy to your hand. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Let's prepare our offerings. Those of you on Facebook, wait, wait, wait. Those of you, let's prepare our offer. Those of you on Facebook, go to the website, jforhim.org. This is the website. Just go to the website. Plant, plant a seed this morning. 
The conference is the 26th, 27th, and 28th of January, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Go to the website, download my app, j for him It's in the Google, it's in the PlayStation, j for him You can keep up with us if you download our app. As far as the conference, this is the conference that's coming up. So this is the conference that's coming up, everyone. Those of you on Facebook, those of you, go to my Facebook, Apostle Calvin Brown. Go to my Facebook, Apostle Calvin Brown. And, and all, tomorrow, starting Monday, 21 days of fasting, starting tomorrow. No meat, no meat, you can't eat no meat. No meat. No meat for 21 days. Only soup and salad, no meat. We're on a 21 day fast, the year of seven, the year of Jubilee. Three sevens. This is the year that we're in. Hallelujah. So starting tomorrow, 21 days of prayer, there's going to be Bible study. I'll be teaching Bible study at 12 noon every day for 21 days. I'll be praying 12 noon every day for 21 days. So Father, we want to thank you and honor you for what you're doing today. And we want to thank you for those that are giving. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Glory to your name. So we're done. Those